Welcome back. I'm sorry that the second video has a cut off towards the end for reason which I could not really understand why. Uh, anyway, life will go on and I'll just carry on with the third part of the E lecture 2. Now you realize that there are three types of feet. There are clearance feet, transition feet, and interference feet. And there must be a system to manage that. So the industry, there are two types of system. You look carefully onto this guy, you see that there is a whole basis. And then the other term is called the shaft basis. You can see shaft basis there. So there are actually two systems and we're going to use this basic system uh, as we carry on today's lesson. Huh? So let me just express this system first. First, in this, in this way, they must have a basic size. And let's assume today we are interested in a basic size of 30. 30. And then you realize there's a rectangle box, shaded rectangle box. This rectangle box shows the tolerance, the size of tolerance. Uh. The letter H uh, is uppercase. Uppercase means meant for whole. Uh. Not because it's H, uh, it's just because it's uppercase. That's why it was called whole. Uh. It's a whole tolerance. And the number is a H11. Let's understand where is this H11 onto the spreadsheet. Then let me just let me just take back the table here. I'm gonna put the table back here. And I'm gonna highlight to you how to look at the table. Huh? The table here says this is basic size 30. So I need to go for 30. You realize that there are two 30 here. Uh, one is 230 and the other one is the 30 from. Uh, that's over 30. So basically, when we say size 30, we take the one that is 230. Uh, because 30 is not over 30. Uh, so therefore, that's the one. And look at H11. Under H11, I see two numbers. The number is 0 and 130. In other words, over to this box, it will be 0 over this side and 130 over this side. That's what we gather from the table. So the hole has a tolerance between 0 to 130. Now let's say you are given the fit. This fit is given as H11 dash C, small letter, 11. So basically, where is C, 11? Huh? C, 11 is basically, I'm going to put it over here now. I'm going to draw the C, 11. C, 11 means the box is below. C, small letter, 11. Small letter stand for shaft, lowercase, huh? Is meant for shaft. 11 means the size. Huh? So basically, same number, same size. So the height of this guy, if you measure it, will be 130. Same as same size. Huh? Now, uh, where do it start? So let's see where it starts. Huh? Go back to the table now. Look at look at C you see that it is it is minus one one zero so it's below here here it is minus one one zero and the other one is minus two four zero and uh, the size of the whole tolerance uh, let me shade it to recognize the tolerance. It's the same as the upper tolerance and it's actually 130. Now let's try another fit. Uh. Let's say we go and take another size and call this still H11 for one size, but then this time, uh, let me put it here. Let's say the size is H11-P6. P6. 
So now where do I find P6? I look at the table here, H11 is here, but I flip it on the other side. Oh, I see P6 here, P6. So I'm going to draw the P6 over there. So P6 at size 30, I need to look at the, I need to highlight the, the color first. Huh? P6 is this color. This is the two value I need to take from there. Lah. So from there, I can look at it and say that it is actually plus 22 plus 35. So in other words, in other words, it is going to be a box. Because it's 0 to 130, so the box should be somewhere here. Lah. Small little box. Tiny little one. I will shade it. In this color and the limit is here 22 and the other one is 35 in other words you realize that the shaft the shaft tolerance uh, this is p6 the shaft tolerance is within the whole tolerance uh. So let's understand the kind of fit now. This one is definitely, there's always a gap. Always a gap. There's always a gap. So this one will be clearance fit. This one is in between, uh, in between. So in between, there's a, inter, there's a combined, there's sometimes gap, sometimes uh, sometimes gap, sometimes in uh, interference. So that's one. It's called transition fit. Transition fit. Let me give you an example of where to interference fit come in. Uh. So let's say if the box, uh, if the box end up to be here. Let's say this is a sharp one. Uh. It's end up all the way up. Then this one will be interference. This will be interference fit. Okay, I'll stop here.